What's going on my lusty game maker programming studs? It's Zach here from CodyMadeSimple.com and welcome to another Game Maker Studio 2 video. And today what we're going to be looking at is how to create a grappling hook inside of your game. So what I've done is I've made this a very, very simple system. It's only about 40 lines of code and it gets the job done. And I actually really love how this system turned out. So what I did is I made a little platformer here. I'm going to show you exactly how the system looks before we continue on to the tutorial. So I can click around the screen here and I can only grapple onto these yellow blocks. So if I go ahead and do that, then we can get pushed up on here, right? So if I go over here, let's go over here. I think it's a really cool system and it's really easy to actually uh, start with. I've also made gravity in it as well. So, you know, you're gonna kinda keep falling there if uh, if you don't actually move with uh, which with the grappling hook. So if you wanna go over here, it kinda of ruins that little glitch there. Really cool system, so let's go ahead and dive right into the code. I'm gonna start this completely from scratch and there's gonna be a download link in the description to download this entire source file and uh, you can go ahead and play around with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a sprite. I'm gonna make it a 32 by 32. And we'll name it S player. I'm just gonna make it a blue guy. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and create a normal block for our game. Make that 32 by 32. And let's make it black. I'll right, add some coloring in there as well. This is probably the best art you're ever going to see from me. All right, I'll duplicate this. And then I'm going to say S block G, capital G, and that's just going to stand for grappling. So we can grapple onto this actual block itself. We'll bring the color down a little bit. And there we go. So we've got our sprites. And, and our sprite player, what I'm going to do is actually center the origin on that sprite. And let's create the object. So I'm going to name it O player. Give it the sprite, and I'm going to create another object. It's going to be called O block. Give it that sprite, and we're going to make that solid for our collision system. So I'm going to pop into the room here, and I'm going to go ahead and just fill in this room with blocks. Oops. Cool, so let's go ahead and set up a couple platforms to jump around on. And in the creation code of our room, I'm gonna go ahead and set room speed to equal 60. This is a personal personal preference of mine. I love to make every room speed 60. I think the default's 30. In Game Maker Studio, it was 30. I'm not sure if it is in Game Maker Studio 2. Uh, but nonetheless, I like to go into the creation code and make it a uh, room speed of 60. It's just a smoother gameplay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and name it O block G. And I'm going to parent our O block just so that when we're doing collision systems, I can actually just do it for that object block and it translates over to our grappling hook. So I'm going to go ahead and add this into the game here. So we can pretty much grapple from anywhere. And then I'll add the player into the game as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the code. So in the creative end, I'm going to create three variables for our grappling system. This is going to be MX equals X, MY equals Y, and active equals false. Essentially, the MX and MY is the hook coordinates for where we want to actually grapple to. So hook X coordinate and our hook y coordinate. And then active is if we're actually um, grappling. So if it's not active, then we don't want to draw any of the lines or anything like that to grapple. All right, so in the step event, I'm just gonna create a simple gravity and platforming system. So if place free, x comma y plus one, gravity equals one, else gravity equals zero. 
simple gravity system. Now I'm going to make a simple movement system in our game. So if keyboard check VK right, let's say H speed equals five. And if keyboard check VK left, H speed equals negative five. And then let's just make it so that if we're not touching neither left nor right, then we're going to stop that V speed. So and not keyboard check, VK left, H speed equals zero. All right, perfect system. So now let's go ahead and make like a little jumping system as well. So we can say if keyboard check pressed, VK space, and not place free, X comma Y plus one, then we can simply set V speed to equal negative 20, we'll say. All right, really system, really simple system. So let's go ahead and create the collision code for our block. So I'm going to do the left and right collisions for our block right now. So if place meeting X minus H speed comma Y O block, or you could just say other in this case, but we'll just go with O block x plus equals h speed i'm going to go ahead and copy this paste it down and say plus h speed and we're going to want a minus equal so that take care of left and right collision so now we're going to do the top and bottom collision so i'm going to say if other dot y is less than y and not place free x comma y plus v speed Um, oh, there we go. Then I'm going to say move contact solid 90 and 8 and V speed equals 0. So that's for the top collision. And now let's do the bottom collision. So if place meeting X comma Y plus V speed O block V speed equals 0 and move contact solid 270, max distance is 12. So let's go ahead and run the game and see how that works. So here's our game, we can move around. We have top collision, we have bottom collision. Our side collision works pretty good. Now let's just check out this side here. Works pretty good. So we've got a very basic platformer now. We can go ahead and do stuff with. So let's get into that actual grappling tutorial. Now, if you guys want to learn more about a platforming system, go ahead and leave me a comment and I can definitely dive more into the code with more complex systems. Like I said, this isn't actually pixel perfect collision, but we can dive into that and also uh, create a better system for our movement and things like that using actually acceleration, deceleration. All that's, just leave me a comment and uh, I'll definitely look into that. So let's go ahead and go on to our grappling hook now. So what I'm going to want to do is essentially we want to check if first off is our mouse clicking on an actual yellow block that we can grapple on. If it's clicking anywhere else, then we don't want our active variable to be true. We want it to stay false. So in our old player, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say, so this is all checking hook. So we're going to say if mouse check button pressed and be left. Let's go ahead and move over here. I'm going to set MX to equal mouse underscore X and MY to equal mouse underscore Y. That's going to set our MX and MY instance variables to the exact location of our mouse right when we press it. And here we can say if place meeting MX MY O block G, then we can set active to equal true. All right, so very simple system. We're just checking if our MX and MY are actually in the bounds of our block, our grappling block. Now this only gets checked one time and that's when we initially press that. So if we let go of the mouse, then we want to always set active to false because if we let go, we no longer want to grapple. So let's do that now. So if mouse check button released and be left, 
we're going to set active to equal false. So now let's actually draw the grappling line, I guess you could say, into our game. So in the draw event, I'm going to go ahead and say draw self to begin with. And here I'm going to say if active, draw line from XY to MX and MY. Very simple. So let's go ahead and play the game and see if that works. So here I'm clicking around. And now if I click on that, we actually now get a line. But I can click on the other blocks and we don't get a line or anything. So now let's make it actually useful in the game, which is actually very simple. So let's go ahead and say if active. And here we're just going to be using a simple tweening algorithm to bring us to that point. So I'm going to say x plus equals mx minus x multiplied by 0 0.1 and y plus equals my minus y multiplied by 0 0.1 and I'm going to set gravity to equal 0 0.1 because we don't want the full gravity we just want a little bit of gravity because we are kind of defying physics with the grappling hook so just like that let's go and run the game and here if I go ahead and click oh and we get shot up there so you can kind of work on the momentum a little bit just by playing with these values of times point times 0 0.1. You can play with these values. What that's going to do is it's either going to fasten or slow down the point at which it grapples. So if I say 0 0.05 and we run the game, let's see what we get. So as you can see, now there's less momentum there. So let's uh, let's jump up here, jump up here. Definitely less momentum. I actually think the 0 0.1 is a better system. But again, you can play around with this stuff and it's a very basic, very easy grappling system that you can easily implement into your game without any changes to the code whatsoever. No matter what your platforming code is, no matter what your collision code is, this system will always work within your game. So go leave a like, go and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go and try for 100 likes this time and visit CodyMadeSimple.com to learn more on programming video games. Peace.